Speakers Club. My name is Lady Essie. I'm one of your hosts for this evening. And Brother Dougie is another host. He's going to be also we're working with me today to facilitate the show. Before I begin, I'm going to do some housekeeping. To my left, they're still here, is the toilets. Behind you is the fire exit. There is no planned fire drill today, so if you hear an alarm going off, it is a real emergency, so please leave as quickly and qu quickly as you can, safely as you can. Phones, I know everybody does love their phones, and if you want to be tweeting or updating your Instagram or do any of your social media stuff, if you can do silently, put your phones on silent so you don't interrupt the speakers. As it is a show where we are going to be speaking, if when people are speaking, if you can respect when people are talking and respect their views and be quiet and listen to, listen to each other, that would be really great. It is a filmed event, as you can see, so if anyone has any objections to be, being filmed, could you let me know? And we'll let the um, guys that film in, as you can see, we've got two cameras in the house, so if you don't want to be filmed, please let me know now and then we can um, let them know. I feel a bit lonely because everyone seems to be so far back. Does anyone want to come, come forward and give me some love? Or you're happy at the back there? Can we just move forward? If you want to move forward, no, let's all get cosy and you know, let's share the love together. Come more forward. Come on, Jobby, do you want to come forward a bit? <laughs> Oh, that's a lot better. I can feel the love now. Yeah, that's really great. Now we're all going to have like one cozy little happy family today. So, why are we here? We're here today to be at the Speakers Club. I can see a lot of new people in the audience. Is anyone here that hasn't been here before? Hands up. Wow, there's a lot of you here before. They haven't been here before. Is it? Has anyone got any reasons why they came to the Speakers Club today? Anyone wants to share? Okay, that's good to hear. Looking forward to hearing you later on. Anyone else? I mean, we're all here to learn how to improve our speaking skills. Is that right? We all want to be better communicators? Is that what we want to do? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we want to go have interviews, better interview skills, presentations at work. Anyone want to be up here hosting? This time last year, I had no idea how to host. So I came to Speakers Club and I'm here with the mic. The mic's my friend now. I was scared. So if any of you that are scared out there, you can do it. It can be done. I know there's a lot of DJs in the house. So if anyone wants to be on a radio presenting, I do. I want to learn how to radio DJ one day. So yeah, so it's good to learn speaking skills. It helps us to improve our communication skills. We can get better jobs. We can have our own businesses. We can actually communicate with each other. And speaking also includes listening. So as we do speak tonight, if we can also listen to each other. Thank you. So the topic for today is a really interesting topic. We're discussing trust, loyalty and betrayal. Because as humans, we've all experienced some type of betrayal, some issues with trust or loyalty. The questions we are going to be pondering today are can trust be re-established after betrayal. And loyalty has its limits, do you agree? So the programme for today is you're going to have a presentation by Black Arts Production. They're going to be um, doing a presentation on question one. Then we're going to have the panel do a little discussion and then you are going to get a chance to give your views on question one. 
we're going to have a break. After the break, we'll come back and we'll look at question two. Back again, we'll do another presentation on question two. The panel will speak and then you will have your chance to say what you would like to say. So, you know, when you see, when you see the presentation, have your thoughts ready. Get ready. I'm going to come around with a mic. I want to give you the mic. Make friends with the mic so you can say something. We all want to hear your voice. Everyone's got something to say, so we all want to hear you. All, everyone's voice is valuable. And then I'm going to now pass you over to my lovely co-host, Brother Dougie. He's going to introduce the panel and the evaluator. Okay, come give it to our, our host. Come on, give it to the business. Give it a clap. Absolutely. Okay, then. Now then, before we start the program, look at the person next to you, shake their hand, and say to them, you look absolutely fantastic. You look absolutely fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. And then, look him again, in the eyes, look him again, and say to him, in a cockney voice, I look even more better. I look even more better. Okay then. Family, give yourself a clap. Come on, deserve it. Yeah. Okay then. So, what's going to take place? Because we do have a structure. You know? And the very precise structure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to introduce the, um, the panel. And then I will introduce the uh, evaluator. So first I'm going to go over to our, our steam panel. And we just uh, miss your name. Just very briefly. Into the mic, my sister. And we go through the panel. What to? My name is Red Diamond. <laughs> My name is Red Diamond. I run a personal development service. I do relationship advice and I'm looking forward to today. You forgive her, she's a bit shy, but she'll wake up, I'm sure. Right, my name's Michael, I'm the chair of the panel. And uh, a little bit about myself, I uh, do IT, I have an IT company, and also I have an events company. And um, I do a lot of charity work, it's all. I've uh, given up my time to be here, to be with you lovely folks on a Sunday evening. I enjoy doing a lot of charity work, and uh, this Speakers Club I think is absolutely fantastic, because it's, it's now opening up a lot of avenues for our people. So, hope you enjoy the night. Pass you to my colleague, Errol. Um, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Errol Heinz. I'm business consultant, actor, TV personality, and many things. But the reason why I'm here tonight is just to see what I can learn, indeed, from your esteemed self, and what I can teach. And I think that the Speakers Club is a forum that has long been overdue, and we're thankful for it. Yes, greetings. Uh, my name is Ross Menti. The purpose of me being here is to, uh, is to learn because I think that life is just one big learning process. And I think that one of the greatest things you can do is to communicate effectively. It will get you far in life, good communication skills. So I'm, I'm always willing to improve my communication skills and I hope you are too. Okay, then. Can you please give the panel a clap? Okay, come on, get the panel out there, come on. Also, we need to, um, I'm going to use the, um, the evaluator. Theo, can you please introduce your role, if you can use this mic here, my brother. Come on, give Theo a clap, please. Hi, good evening, everybody. I, um, as Dougie has made clear, I have the role of, um, once you make friends with the mic, evaluating you when you speak. So I have to look at various um, criteria, and I have to keep that in mind while everyone's speaking. It's no pressure thing. You speak for 60 seconds, I look at your delivery, I look at how well you 
put your opinion across and interpret the subject and make sure that you stay within the boundaries of the discussion and not go off point. And that's more or less what I'm here to do. And after that, that's it. Thank you, Dougie. Okay, thank you. Okay, come give us a very good up. Yeah. Now then, it's very important that we clap when people come up here and when they come off stage. Why is that? It holds the energy. It holds the energy. And everybody wants to get a buzz when they come up here. So it's very important that we make as much as we can so they feel good. So I'm going to rehearse a run after three. One, two, three, say yeah! Yeah! Okay, so when I come up here, you just show your voice in so they feel good. Yeah? Okay then. So, what's going to take place now? We're going to have a, a small performance by BAP, stands for Black Art Production. And I'm getting some signals here, and I want to know. <laughs> right? Okay, then. as I said, we're going to have a short um, sketch by Black Art Production. Now then, what's the theme? I'm going to ask a question, what's the theme? Do you know? Oh, I'm going to read that to you. Because sure Essa read that earlier on, did you? Betrayal. Yeah? What is it? Betrayal. Alright, I'm going to read that to you, so you know exactly what it is. Can trust be re-established after betrayal? So that is the um, the theme. So there will be a short sketch. Then after that, we go to the panel. We'll give their, their analysis. Then we open up to the um, audience. Now as I said, there's a structure. So it always has to be for one minute. You know? Don't bother, blah, 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 blah. We're going to take on the mic from you and uh, get the more talk. Okay then? We're very aggressive about that. All right, now what do we play? So the backup president, are they ready? What up? mic so much? I have two mics in my hand. <laughs> okay, Black Art, we were going to do question one, but we're actually going to do question two now. Can anyone tell me what question two was? Just checking if you were listening to me. Part of communication. Very good, you were listening. Part of communication. So yeah, we're going to be doing question two. Loyalty has its limits, do you agree? So on stage, Black Art Production, as Brother Dougie said, we want to show them love, get your hands together, clap, make some noise. Yeah, 
So uh, me and Simone, we were like house hunting and stuff. You know what I mean? Well, that's good, man. Yeah. And uh, she was nagging me. You know how she. You know how she get. <laughs> she yeah, was nagging I, me. I know how she yeah, did. Yeah, she was yeah, like, yeah. oh, I need to see a house, and you know, I was panicking. I didn't know where to take her. So you know, the first thing that came to my head, you know, the first house was the Rodney's. The Rodney's. <laughs> You know, just to, just to take. You no, 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 listen, listen, listen. You serious? Oh, hold on, I even said, hold on, hold on. Well, hurry up and say what you got to say, man, because I don't like what I'm hearing, man. Well, yeah, you know, I didn't, I didn't know where to take her, like I said. So I thought, I'm just going to take her there for starters. Then I'll Google some houses while we're there to look at some other houses, you know what I mean? Well, like, yeah. Because I know, I know that's your house, you know what I mean? I was like, come on. That's right, yeah. come on. But, you know, she, she, uh, she, 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 uh, she liked the house, uh, you know, so I kind of, um, I kind of bought, bought it, I bought the house. What do you mean you bought it? I bought, I bought the house, we bought the house. Man, where's the loyalty? I told you this in confidence. Yeah, but you ain't spoke about it in months. I so what if I don't speak about it? I'm, 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 in, I'm only going to speak to you about it. Yeah. I spoke to you. And, and look what you go and do. I mean, I didn't, I didn't think she would like it. You know what I mean? I you didn't think anything, man. You always doing things like this, man. man. You know how she gets, man. Like, like, it's some old, isn't it? Like, why don't you just get rid of her, man? Hey, look, man, you've said that a couple of times, man. What's up? That's my baby, man. What are you talking about? So, so, so I can't, you know, chill out, talk to you about some of the things I want to do in life. Look, you go and buy the same house I wanted. Man, if you saw the way her face lit up, man, when she saw the house, you could I don't no care about her face. Look, man, look, I'm sorry, isn't it? Like, I'm You're sorry. Where am I going to live then? Huh? Where am I going to live? You said you're at your mum's though, that's nice. Yeah, but you think I want to stay there? Come on, man. Gee. Like, I'm sorry, man. Like, you can't say I'm not being loyal. I didn't know she would like the house. No, man. You didn't know loyalty here at all, man. What do you, you mean, like? And you know what? I ain't going to tell you nothing no more now. No, why? Why? We tell each other everything, man. We've been friends for years. What do you mean? Yeah, man? well, that's the problem. Sometimes you should keep things to yourself because you never know who you can trust, innit? I didn't... Man. Damn. Why don't you two go and buy another property, man? We've got to sort this out, man. I, I mean, um... What's, what's that? She's she calling you. Yeah, yeah, she's always calling Baby. Me. Oh, right now? This ain't really a good... Oh, okay. Hey, man, look, man, I... I gotta go. I gotta help her move the fridge into the house. Um, I don't believe this. Man. I'm, I'm gonna talk to you, okay? I don't believe this. One love, brother. Yeah. I said I don't believe this, man. We're gonna open up to the um, to the panel, and then we over to the um, to the audience. Okay, yeah. With the betrayal, um, in answer to the question, in answer to the um, the play of the individual who had his friend, um, are we answering the question? Oh, I beg your pardon. Okay, liberty has no limits. Okay, I need to answer, the, make a comment on liberty. Uh, lo loyalty has no limits. It uh, has its limits. I believe that loyalty does. We do need to have limits with loyalty. Um, I believe that if we're going to be loyal to somebody, you need to establish the experience that you've had with that, the past experience you've had with that person, um, and look at the commitment and the pros and cons, whether it's a toxic relationship like the two guys <laughs> or whether it's a useful relationship and whether it's worth you putting the trust in what's in it for you is it reciprocated and if not why not right. loyalty god that's uh, that's a difficult one um what 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 is loyalty that's the big question has it got limits? Yes, it has got limits. Um, from what we've just seen there, it also evolves a lot, involves a lot of um, communication. Because obviously, 
there didn't seem to be much communication there between the two guys, and one's gone off and bought a house and left the other one at mum's. So, um, yeah, I would say that uh, there are a lot, a lot of limitations um, that you, you have to instill to have um, a lot of loyalty to whoever. So, to be loyal to somebody, I think you need to know when to stop um, and where to draw the line. Okay, I'll elaborate later on, and I'll pass you on to my colleague. Yes, it's a, it's a very short and quite appropriate um, sketch. What I got from that uh, line comes to mind from one of Bob Marley's songs, Only Your Friend Knows Your Secret, and Only They Can be, um, uh, Betray It. And by one friend telling the other that they had designs on the house and wanted to, to, to buy the house, the other one used the uh, information um, for their own benefit and, and so forth. So trust does have its limits. There are certain offenses that um, friends and family might commit against us that we do forgive others. Um, they're really unforgivable. So there are limits, and I cannot go any much further into this than uh, um, I think that we must be careful to whom we say what we say and in whom we put our trust. It's difficult when you've just met somebody, but if you've known somebody for some time, it depends on you know the relationship and the attitude between the two of you and the circumstances. Thanks. Yes, I um, loyalty. Yeah, that has its limits. But on this particular scenario, the one who bought the house should have been loyal to his friend and not bought the house. Basically, he should have considered his friend's feeling in, in buying the house, and he should have realised that um, you know. He informed you about buying the house and you you took advantage of it basically. So in that sense, I guess loyalty does have its limits. But in relating to the scene we've just seen, that brethren should have been loyal to his friend who purchased the who wants to purchase the house and not purchased it ahead of him. The term familiarity breeds contempt comes to mind, so we've got to really be be um, supportive to our friends and not take advantage of uh, any situation that they tell us, us of in, in confidence. Oh, okay, then. so ready from the panel. And the questions about trust, friends, loyalty. Many of us have been betrayed by our friends. Now then, we'll open up to the, uh, to the panel. Is there anybody from the audience wants to to speak just for one minute, as we said, and yes, we have someone off the mark. Let's give our young soldier a clap. Off the mark, give him a clap. Yeah. Now, what's your name, please, before you start? Yep. Um, my name is Naren. Uh, what I want to say is um, there's limits to um, loyalty because we can't even trust ourselves as um, to do things. If anybody smokes, hopefully don't. Like, you can't trust yourself to not smoke the next day. Um, commenting on what? Sorry, what's your name? The one on the end. Minty. Minty, yeah. Um, sorry, I, I kind of disagree with um, what you said. I think there was nothing wrong with the guy purchasing the house because he's got his own responsibilities and whatnot. And he did say, well, you said it months ago, and it's not like he can't buy another house. So I think... Uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with him. I don't think he was being disloyal to his friend because at the end of the day, everybody has their own things going on. So, yeah, I think it does have limits. Okay. So, we have one young blood disagree with what uh, one of the president of the panel said. And that's good. So, we want to get some. Yes, I see some hands flying. If sister can um, mention your name, please. Sorry, I've been uh, advised that you put stand up. Oh, she's always stand up already. Just mention your name, my sister. Okay, my name is Mam Hasina. Good evening, everyone. Um, I arrived just now, not late, because late does not belong in the living world. Okay, um, I did not see the sketch. However, uh, that young gentleman in the hat next to Minty, I don't know your name, sir, but uh, I believe it was you who just said something about um, some things are unforgivable. Everything is forgivable. That's just my brief point. I'd like people to think about that. Oh, okay, give thanks. Okay then. Um, okay then. Anybody have a, 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 a point they want to um, share? Could have your hands, please. 
Okay, Dr. Paradeva. Can you please stand up and mention your name, please? Good evening, one love. My name is Brother X. Good evening, sir. I'm a big fan of Mama Asina. And I need to <laughs> let it say that to forgive is divine. So it's always good to forgive. The feel that way. One love. Okay. All right, then. We'll have you to love with everybody because, <laughs> you know, Okay, anybody um, else? Because certain hands are just flat up. And as you stand up, please rise up and please uh, mention your your name. Good evening, my name is Pauline. Okay, from the sketch, I didn't feel a great deal that these two people had a great friendship. Mm. It felt like if he said, you know, you said, oh, I'm just going to go and buy that house, but you've been taking so long. And then I liked it, because <laughs> now you brought it to my, to my attention. So I buy it. But it's, I don't think it's disloyal. It's just like, depending how long he's been talking about it. And properties are there. Somebody sees and they want it. Be free. So I don't get the closeness with the two guys who say, loyalty come first. Sorry. Okay, then. Okay, then. That's, that, that's good. Okay then. Anybody else? Anybody else? Put your hand up and or if I have to pick on somebody, you know? I'm gonna pick on somebody. I'm gonna pick on somebody. I'm gonna pick on somebody. I'm gonna pick on this better here. See me? Rise up, your name. And um Yes, the brother Ducky. Um my name is Andrew Ree from the Black Arts Production Theatre. Um, loyalty. For me, um, someone that's going into possibly the political arena, um, loyalty is a, probably a big thing for, should we say, voters on the ground. And um, I'm here to learn to hear what solutions we can have to increase this loyalty. Uh, loyalty, sometimes people pay for loyalty to our work. Yeah. Sometimes people pray for loyalty through friendship or another means they want a gift. You know what, what it is, you know, loyalty does have limits. It does have limits. And how far do you go to that loyalty? You know? So uh, I'm really thinking that on, on the ground level, how can we increase loyalty? That's for me, that's, that's the answer I want. How can we increase the loyalty within its guidelines? All right? Okay, then. give thanks. Okay, come on, give him a clap. Anybody else? Anybody else? Put your hand up. And, um, okay, if not, we have to go to, hold on, please. If not, we have to go to the, uh, to, to the panel. Okay, you want to go to the panel? Okay. Yeah, um, uh, in relation to, yeah, it's on, yeah. In relation to the young gentleman, Nairon, is your name, yeah. Uh, he said he still should have bought the house, and that, uh, you know, of course. But I think that, as a community, we have to be much more supportive to one another. They say the two biggest purchases are your house and your car. Now, if you're going to step over your brethren or your sister because in relation to the biggest purchase, that, to me, is a serious problem. But, of course, everyone's got their opinion. That's just my view. I wouldn't step on anyone who told me they want to buy that house because obviously is the the gentleman who said his girl liked it well the other brethren's girl may have liked it too you understand so to me the saying do unto others as you have people do to you comes to mind we have to be serious as a community on that so i just think if we're going to do it with things like that what if we get to higher levels how much more are we going to step over our brethren and sister we have to seriously think about how we deal with people but it's not against you, my youth. You have to say what you've got to say, but hopefully this is a learning process. Sila, you said everything is, is forgivable. Is paedophilia forgivable? No. All right, so everything's not Everybody forgivable. forgivable. Well, uh, for me, it's not. I wouldn't. Would you trust someone who's a paedophile to look after your children? I, I personally wouldn't. So to me, everything's not forgivable. And, and that's in relation to what, I forgot your name, Bridget? Brother X. Brother X, okay. You said, what's the saying? To, 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 for, to, for, to, to make a mistake is to, is to err and to forgive is divine. I hear that. And I think, 
You can forgive to a level, but forgetting, no. And to, to bring the person back into your, your surroundings as usual, I can't see that happening again personally. You know, the certain things to me aren't forgivable. Peter, you know, Peter Phil, you know, certain other things are not. Um, and this is for Pauline. Pauline made the comment about no, there seems to be no loyalty. Uh, okay, let's just take it as it is. But I just, I just get the feeling it's like people don't really care about each other. It seems, man, we should care. I think that's one of the issues in our community. We've got to start caring for one another, basically. So if they didn't care for each other, I don't know. I, I, I just got he, he, he betrayed his friend, and I think we've got to just cut that out. If your friend's telling you something in the confidence, respect him or her. That's it. Bottom line. I just want to pick out um, Nairon, he said that if we cannot trust ourselves, how are we expected to trust each other? And throughout the comments by all of the speakers, um, I'm a sinner, Pauline and Andrew, I, I got the idea that um, the, the trust between these two friends was not, quite, was not strong. Um, and I, I saw nothing wrong with somebody actually purchasing a property, even though they know that their friend um, had their, you know, their eye on it. It's really opportunities, but I dare say that if the friendship, true friendship between the, you know the two, or the, the trust and loyalty between the two was stronger, then one friend wouldn't have done that because they knew that it would hurt the other friend, and so therefore um, they wouldn't. I cannot fail but pick up on the point that uh, Mama Sina made about everything is forgivable. To me, as far as I am concerned, um, that is not the case because there are things that we ourselves, in our true hearts, will forgive and we will not forgive. There are certain instances in life where, um, again, um, pedophilia, those who molest children, murder our, our loved ones, commit. Even in society, there are acts of treason, right, for which, even though the death penalty has been abolished, there are certain acts, if you do that, if you were to go and blow up one of Her Majesty's ships, they will top you. That's a fact. You will get the death penalty there. And so there are certain things which are not forgivable, and we need to define, really, those which are and are not, because otherwise society will break down. And, and that's what I'd like to say on that matter. Thank you. It's very diamond. Um, what I wanted to say about um, whether loyalty is acceptable to, I mean, this, you know, you, you can't forgive. Um, there's some situations that you cannot forgive. Personally, I. I understand the point you're making about paedophilia. <coughs> it's the paedophilia's action that cannot be forgiven. It's what he actually did. But for you to set yourself free to move on, you have to evaluate what you're doing to yourself as a human being. So don't, for, don't um, um, agree with the actual offence, but at least set yourself free so that you can move on and deal with the consequences. Okay, thank you. Okay, Michael here. Yeah. Um, there's a saying, you can um, forgive, but you can't forget. Has anyone heard that saying before? Yes. Right. Now, what does that mean? Um, if somebody murders one of your family, your mother, your brother, okay, all right, forgive this guy, but I won't forget it. What does that mean? What? Seriously? Well... You know, what is forgiveness? So I will leave it there. That's all I have to say on that. Or okay. an open question for you guys to, to mill over. And I'm sure somebody will come back at me. Okay. Right? This is going to be feisty night. I think the panel is yeah. almost on Kenzo Williams. Yeah. So, um... For me, forgiveness is about saying to that particular person who's caused the act of the death or a grievance or whatever they've done to you that's hurt you, um, is to say, I forgive the actions that you've done towards me, but I will not forget. Yeah, it's like you because if you hold on to grievances forever and ever, you're going to be and become angry. Hatred is going to set in. You know, you're going to get all these negative energies around you and you're never going to move forward so you have to 
think to yourself, I mean, personally, this, this has happened to me in my, my family, and I forgive that person for what they've done. And I forgive them only because we need to move forward. I need to get on with my life, and we need to carry on as a family. Yeah? So you have to let go of things, otherwise you become very angry. Mm -hmm. Anger is not a good thing in life. You have to move on and just live your life. Okay, okay well said. Come on, give the sister a clap. Okay, then. I know there was some burning hands at the back there. Yes, my sister. And your name and... My name is Jasmine Blake. I wonder why it took the men so long to work this out. <laughs> and it's actually a woman who have to pull in and rein in on them to acknowledge that value principle line here. Your values and your belief system kicks in right here. Why does it do that? I would have liked to see another woman on the bench. Okay. Okay. I'd like to know the question you're probably trying to make, though, my sister. The, the, you know, I think... I, oh, that, that's it still, but come back after. Come back after. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, the no, question I'm putting to you is... You are well aware of what okay. is coming... No, let me finish. No, 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 no. So, sister, you so, need to ask yourself some of these questions before you ask the audience. Because yes. you have not yet derived up the answers. Okay. So, don't make things clear. Sister, we've got, we, we don't have a structure, so we do speak. You only, well, I want to, sorry, I'm at fault, so though, right? You only speak for one minute, yeah? So, next time, I'd just like to know what was the purpose of your question, still. It's a good question, but it's at the purpose of your question. Okay, then. Who was what to um, contribute? Yes, Befa? No. Well, okay. Him and then, brother. Uh, okay. Listen up, please. I just wanted to say... Your name? Your name? Nairon. Nairon again. I just wanted to say, um, you said, what's the point of forgiving and then and then not forget? The pain of not forgetting is so you, it doesn't happen again. But you forgive yourself and then the pain has gone away from inside. That's what I've got to say. Thank you. Okay, give thanks. Okay, then. forgive them. Uh, forgive them. That's it, yeah. Rise up, Natty. Uh, greetings everyone. Greetings, my brother. Um, I have two things basically to say that one, uh, loyalty is an assumption, okay, by each individual about another individual. We mustn't take this too seriously, it's just a word, okay? The word we really should be operating on is the word hypocrite. <laughs> yeah, because in the skit, that brother was a hypocrite to his brethren. So he proved who he was. But we must never assume loyalty because we don't know the other person. In fact, sometimes we don't even know ourselves. You know, given the same situation, we might have done the same thing if it's the one house that we're both, both looking at. We're not, he's not the estate agent. You understand? He was promising his woman something. So please, never ever take any singular word and let it rule your life. Now the second bit, very quickly, is that if they had an unconditional relationship as two friends, now it wouldn't have mattered. Well said. Well put again. Okay, good thanks. Okay, sister, so at the back. What's another point? please. So just on the question of loyalty. Your name's sorry. Your name. oh, sorry, my name's um, Sonia Scantabre Kamara. Just on the point of loyalty with the sketch, I think the question for me was: is the loyalty to the friend, or is the loyalty to the girlfriend? Because you know, there's two relationships there, but which one is more important? Well, they're both important, but which one is going to be more important? to the gentleman because clearly he doesn't want to upset his girlfriend so the loyalty in the long run I mean we know it's a house and it's serious and everything else but he's not going to give up his relationship for the friendship so there you've got loyalty on both sides really so how do you choose? Okay then that's a very um, powerful question loyalty to the friend or loyalty to the, uh, to the girlfriend okay does anybody want to take that question or anybody want to say anything to that? Okay. A different kind of question, yeah? yeah. All right, rise up. Your name, please. Hi, my name is Yunez. Um, the thing is, 
know, there's plenty of houses people can buy. There's plenty of houses around. Mm -hmm. Why did he zoom in on the friends, the house that his friends wanted to buy? I mean, there's, you know, for me it's like, then the friend thought there was nothing else they could buy. There was just limitation in purchasing something else. There's loads of houses people can buy. Why did you choose the, fr the friend's house? That, to me, is a bit quite poignant, really. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Well, this side is kind of quiet, you know. What? Anybody speak from this side yet? Huh? No, he spoke. Oh, you're going to put from this side yet. Yeah? And Richard. All right. I'm going to put this money. What's wrong? No. Let me Dave. Let me Dave speak first. Dave, I want Dave to speak. I know he's going to send a burning to speak. Huh? I didn't see the cow. All right, no problem. All right, we're going to go to the panel, yeah? All right, no problem. In answer to Sonia, um, who should you be loyal to? I believe the one she, he should have been loyal to is the girlfriend, um, because the friend already knew what type of relationship he has with him. You saw his response on how he was, oh, you're always like this. So he already knew what the setup was. He chose to compromise his, um, he, take a chance, if you like, and still tell somebody that he clearly knows to be untrustworthy in the, previously. So in, with, the, with the person who had his girlfriend, to me, he's probably looked, as you said, for a couple of months. He hasn't done anything. There's been no mention of the house. Um, as he said himself, he was at home. It's nothing to do with it, but... If he was a proper friend, he would have consulted him. But that's the relationship they're used to, and he should have expected no difference. So the loyalty that he was showing was in line with the character who he is. Okay, well done. I think you said everything I was going to say. I mean, loyalty, um, everybody has um, a different way of showing loyalty and um, a reason for showing loyalty or lack of loyalty. Um, for example, at work, some people are very loyal to their bosses because um, they're going to get promoted if they, uh, they're loyal to the boss. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have seen that um, in, in the office environment. Well, I have that some people will stick with the boss, whether the boss is uh, right or wrong, but they will stick with the boss and uh, gain favour. So, to me, that's a form of loyalty. Um, in friendship, I mean, I'm, I'm a very loyal person. If you're my friend, I will stick uh, by you thick or thin. Um, I will never do anything that would uh, harm you or bring any detriment to you. Um, and I would also communicate with you. If you were doing something wrong, for example, I would, um, I would speak to you and say, look, I, I don't quite agree with what you're, you're doing or you're saying, but I think you need to, to reevaluate. Uh, what you're thinking and what you're saying. So, yeah, um, loyalty is a, it's, it's, it's a very difficult thing and um, I think you can tune it to uh, the individuals or, or the situation that the loyalty is brought into question. So, um, at work, it's a different kind of loyalty. With your friends, it's a different kind of loyalty. So, yeah, that's me. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, Errol again. Before I came here, I actually did some little research, as, as we always do, on, on the uh, internet. And it gave me some definitions, of course, about um, trust, loyalty, and betrayal. I mean, in addition to those that we hold, confidence. Um, one has to have confidence in someone and faith uh, um, before we, we can trust them. In other words, taking what they say at face value. We have different types of friendships. Some friends we trust, some we do not, but they're still our friends. Um, loyalty, on the other hand, is a commitment where one commits oneself to say, um, I will do this for this person or I will not do that. Uh, and, and then, of course, betrayal is the, the knife in the back. Uh, as far as I am concerned, um, I saw nothing wrong with the, with the one friend. Um, and, and although it, I, I would not like it to happen to me, using that information to purchase the house uh, in question. Um, and my colleague, um, was, Lyndon, was quite right when he says it's more hypocrisy because if there was that kind of uh, loyalty and trust between um, the friendship, 
they wouldn't have betrayed one another. It's a very fine line, I suppose, and the three are so closely interwoven that if you, if you, if you uh, have trust in someone, you're more likely to be loyal to that person and therefore you will not betray that person and it's stating the obvious. And if way one has a, a partial loyalty, then there will be um, some form of uh, mistrust and, and, uh, and betrayal. So that's as much as I want to say about, on that. Yes, Ras Minty here. Um, just in relation to what R Ras the Elder Linden said, uh, I kind of agree with what you say, Rachel, because I think that uh, the only person you can really trust is yourself, and as the, the young gentleman Nyron said, sometimes you can't even trust yourself. So, so if you can't trust yourself, you can't really put your full trust in other people. So with that, I, I, I kind of agree. Um, Sonia said that uh, loyalty to your friend or, or your girl, um, and I think that he should have spoken to him about his friend first. It's as simple as that. Whether his friends are. are silly or he's not silly. He should have spoken to his friend about it saying, listen brethren, I'm interested in buying the house that you like. Are you going to make an offer on it or not? Because I've known you for a long time and you kind of sort of stall on when you want to do certain things. So if you're not going to make an offer, let me make an offer because that's what I want to do and Miguel loves the house. So we should have spoken about him. Spoken to him about that. Eunice made a good point. Why are you zooming in on your brethren's house? That, to me, is bad-minded, basically. And Errol says, even though he should, he should have done it, you wouldn't want people to do it. I don't want no one to do it, and I wouldn't do it. Like I said, I do. I would discuss it with him and say, brethren, I like the house. My, my wife likes the house. I want to buy the house. So if you're not ready to buy the house, let me buy the house. And that's it. I, can I just make one more point? The lady at the back, I don't know why you were angry. I don't know what, what point you were making. But just to touch on forgiveness quickly, there's different types of forgiveness. You can forgive and forget, yeah? And that means you're going to bring the person back into your house. You can forgive and not forget. You're going to remember what they've done, but you're not going to bring them so close. And you cannot forgive at all, basically. So there's different levels we're talking about here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 That was some interesting conversations. Loyalty. You now have a 15 minutes break. 15, 15, one, five. I can't give you 15 minutes. No, I can't give you 15 minutes because that'll take up all our time. So we have 15 minutes. Or for those that are a little bit um, not very good with time, I'll tell you 10 minutes. They'll give you the extra three minutes to get here on time. So 15 minutes. We have refreshments in the little room. When you come out the door, there's some refreshments you can have. If you do want to go to the cafe still, um, you can go to cafe. The toilets are just there. You can network. We have a store holders at each end, 100% spa and health for healing. So please go and see the store holders. And if anyone has any questions about the Speakers Club or anything that we do, come and see me or Dougie or any of the panel. And I will see you back here in how many minutes? 15. Thank you. We are going to have another performance by Black Art Production Theatre. Back for short. On question one, can trust be re-established after betrayal? You need the East End to swim team now, don't you? <laughs> and, we, and after that, we're going to have another panel and audience discussion. And then we're going to announce the top three speakers. There is a prize. So all of you that have been speaking have been judged by the evaluator. And we'll be announcing it. And then there'll be a raffle. So if you do keep your tickets, you'll be the winners of a lucky prize. And we have two performers in the house. We have a poet called Inshinga. And we have Jay Storm performing. So I'm now going to introduce... Back on stage. Remember what we did before at the beginning? When we get people on stage, we need to... Okay, so energy. So we're going to... We're going to introduce the Black Art... Black Arts Production Theatre. Give them a round of applause. Come on. 
Martin Oslavka. Oui. Why would I do that? Well, I don't know. You're never here, are you? How am I supposed to know? 